just I really liked it there was a couple others that I liked but it wasn't like this like this one really just spoke to me like we are sorry I'm trying to shift stuff around here because hubby's got to put more stuff up here in a minute she did she did um but anyway <laughs> we were walking past this end cap and I went oh look there's more stuff uh -uh. This, then I want the Dollar General stuff too, because I'll just do that all in one little haul. Hi, welcome to Way to Sun. You guys are slanted. Hold on. Hubby was feeling a little overwhelmed because we have a lot of haul to do. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is stuff that Hubby bought at a video resale store here we Disc have in replay. town. Disc replay. He bought this Reality Champions. Two events set, The Evolution of Combat, King of the Cage. This is MMA. We love MMA. We don't involve ourselves as much as we used to. He also bought this other one, over 135 fights. You know we're watching this when we're done with all this, right? Ten, ten different, yeah. Yeah, it's got a lot of, lot of disc. Ten disc. But it's another King of the Cage, Underground Extreme. We'll see. I don't know. But yeah, I can't wait to watch that. Um... And then we hit up a Dollar General today. I keep saying I want to go to Dollar General. And now I want to go to like at least one more because, yeah, I saw some stuff. I'm, the lighting's going to be off because all the bags are right here and Hubby's trying to grab stuff, guys. Um, so this is Dollar General. And I have decided to go ahead and start doing my nails again. I like the Kiss brand. It's the one kind I used to use all the time. I hope it's still good. However, I did buy... The LA Colors Rapid Dry Nail Glue. I've never tried this one. Hopefully, I don't get angry at myself for buying just three bags from Dollar Tree. I don't remember, honey. I really don't. Let's hope. I think so. I think so. Um, and I've bought these because they're a matte black. I've always liked the matte colors, but I'm not gonna leave it just that matte. I'm going to have accents. Here, yeah, just stick it right here, honey. I'll give you. I'll, yeah. I found this cool color. It's a gel, gel nail polish, but it doesn't require the light. And I love... Try to get it right so you guys can see. There you go. And it's got like this shimmer to it. Love that. And then I also found this pretty kind of green. I don't know this brand. Believe. Oh, the LA Colors, the color number is not gonna tell me yeah I don't see a name on it hold on hold the phone hold the phone mm -mm. I don't see oh there it is CNL 209 Ravish I don't know if that'll focus on that at all there it is so got that color and then I also found this Sea Queen Color Ultra Shine Nail Polish by Believe Beauty at the... And again, this was at Dollar General. So it's an interesting green, kind of a spring look to it. So I grabbed that. I also found some really cute Easter decor. I got the... They had, they had this, honey. Do you remember if they had this in pink? There was another color. They had blue. Was it just the blue? I don't remember. Anyway, I got the green and the yellow. These are going to be part of my table decor. You guys know what I'm talking about with my table. And I, so you can buy these at Dollar Tree, a 10 count of the eggs on the, the picks, right, on the spikes. But they're $1.25. They were only a dollar at Dollar General. And I love that they're speckled. And I really love that there's not three pink or four pink or half pink. I'm so, I'm not a fan of pink. And right now it just seems like everywhere you go, everything is stinking pink. Kind of over it. So anyway, got those. And that was the Dollar General. And I'm going to make this a super long video and go ahead and do the Dollar Tree haul as well. And I never saw the receipt for Dollar General. Well, there's these... Okay, it's all right. It's all right. I'm not going to sweat it. Take that real quick. Anyway, there's two receipts right there. Okay. 
Um, I know Tony on Creative Chica Hauls talks about it all the time. I just haven't talked about it on mine for a long time because I didn't have it didn't have it for quite a while. But I am a fetch person. It just doesn't do us a lot of good because I don't. Number one, we don't shop enough, and number two, I don't buy name brand items. I tend to buy all generic. And if you're not buying name brand, then it's just not going to work as well. I'm going to move you guys again because I'm not liking the lighting. It's just so weird. And I don't feel like getting out my big light. So anyway, I did find some items. I don't even think I've seen anybody haul this yet. Um, and I'm trying to remember if I saw somebody with it last year. But I think it is super adorable. I'm going to put it on my... Mickey display, but I think I'm going to put a set of Mickey ears on one of the bunny tops. I think that would just be so cute. It's so easy to do, guys. Just cut a circle out of some foam, glue it on the back, and you got Mickey ears. It's the easiest thing in the world to do, but I love the pastels. I love how it's like, what's that called, honey, when they do this to it? Uh, oh, you're talking about uh, re, re, uh, you know, aging it. It's aged, aged uh, or, you know, scuffed, however you want to say it. So I really like that about it. So that'll be fun to put over there. I also found, and I'm super stoked about this. Super stoked about, well, I should say these because there's multiples. We grabbed all three. These, really? Thank you, my love. God, I have the best husband ever. The beads are rather small, and there's not a lot of them, but I got them for the letters, and I'm probably going to paint everything. So I, not, I don't like the all black, but I found it in the R and the M and B. And I just, I thought it was super cool. Honestly, if we hadn't been, like, I don't know, I kind of wasn't anticipating spending as much as we did, actually. But if I was, like, on a no budget, no, you know, no budget to spend what I want, I would have tried to find all of Bentley in the letters. But I don't think it was there anyway. But anyway, so we got, you know, got those. Super cute, super fun. Also, oh, 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 guys, 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 guys. And I'm kind of mad that I didn't get two packs of these because they're going to be gone so quick. But I found the mini mason jars. Yes. So stinking cute. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. They're cool looking. Right? I'm kind of mad that I only got one pack. But... Um, I think what I'm going to do with them is put like, um, like sequins or not glitter because glitter is too fine, but you know, something along those lines in here, uh, just, just so cute. I had to have them. I had to, there was no way around it. It had to happen. Then I also found, uh, well, hold on. I'm going to get some of this other stuff out of my way. The stuff that I wanted to do first kind of got buried. <laughs> it's a hot mess over here. Um, Hubby is in need of the craft cubes. He bought a pack. I have some, but I don't know if I have... I don't think I have very many left. I've used quite a few of them. So he went ahead and grabbed a pack for himself, which is fine. He also grabbed this two-minute sand timer. And as you can see, it was in the teaching tree area. So I like the color on that. I don't know why. Can I ask why? Why did I get it? Yeah. For Jaden and I. Oh, okay. So I guess it's going to be part of his D&D &D stuff. Okay, not what I thought he was going to say. Um, this is going to be so out of order and random, guys. I'm sorry. Hubby also needed some of the copper scourers. That's a hard word to say, but that's what it says. See? Scourers. Um, remind me what you said. Why? Oh, um... And he found a three-pack. You guys got to watch because sometimes they're only in two packs. I'm gonna, I'm going to make a mold. I'm gonna shove that down in the mold, put resin in it, and then it's. Gonna oh, it's like the okay, like that thing you showed me where they were using steel wool, only you got copper instead. It's gonna be a hilt. A for hilt a, for a knife or a sword. Yeah. That means a handle. Yeah. So, for those of you that don't know, um, the other day when we were at Dollar Tree, I forgot to get more of our sponges. You guys know these are a repurchase for us. Um, love them but we buy them often because i don't like to use them when they get nasty and gross um somebody told me once you know you can put those in your dishwasher i'm like i am the dishwasher and i'm not putting it in me so <laughs> that kind of went gross didn't it anyway got those you guys also know this is another repurchase i buy 
pretty we buy pretty often the brillo pads love these but i was on the hunt because i saw what is her channel name i just recently found her i thought about doing you guys tell me if you would like this or not there used to be um a lot of youtubers that would do this and i don't see a lot of them doing it anymore but they would do a new channel shout out a new channel that they had found um <clears throat> would you guys think it was cool for me to continue doing that i don't think there's anything in the rules about not being able to do it in the youtube guidelines and rules i don't recall seeing anything um, but it's just like you give them a little shout out and a little boost. Doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that you're communicating with all the time, just a channel that you find interesting and worthy of a shout out. So tell me if you would like that. But I, she hauled this, and I can't remember the name of her channel, and I'm so sorry. I want to say it's Triple, Triple, oh, Fiddlesticks. I want to find it because I don't want to not say it. Hold on. I also saw, well, Michelle, that's what you needed to be. It was on YouTube, you goofball. I also saw, um, and I can't believe I'm saying her name on my channel. Oh. Is that the one? Hold on. I'm trying to find the one channel that I'm talking about in the beginning, to begin with. Nope, that's not it. Um, Crafty Girl does this thing where she makes a checklist before she goes into Dollar Tree to see if she can find what's on her checklist. I think it's kind of a cute idea. I'm really shocked that I'm saying this given my, yeah, my position on certain things. But anyway, um, you know, I do want to give her the credit because it is, I, I did see the idea with her. I don't know if she saw it somewhere else or not, but, um, oh gosh, I really want to find this lady's channel. I can't find it right now, and I don't want to hold you guys too long while I look for this and you're looking at my eyelids. So I will find it while, uh, and I will have it pinned in the first comment down below. It's triple something or something triple, triple G. She's a really sweet lady, um, and she finds really cool stuff at hers. But she found this Brillo Basics Dish Spray, Dish Washing Soap Spray. That's a lot to say. It says three times the action. Fresh scent. I didn't even smell it. Hubby found it for me. I'm like, hey, I'm looking for this. And I showed him a picture because I screenshotted it. And I'm looking for this. And I showed him the picture and took a screenshot. Which I don't see. So there's a bag missing. There's a Dollar Tree bag missing for sure. Okay. Okay, it smells really nice. It's not like perfumey and gross. It says fresh scent. But here it is. I'll show it to you guys finally after all the yapping about it. Oh, there. <clears throat> this? Well, that, that. We're missing the... And okay. there's another one because, yeah. So, yeah, I was, I'm anxious to see how this works. And I think what I'm going to do, because I need to still, nope, that's Walmart. I need to still do the, um, uh, the review on that little vacuum that I've talked about a few times. So I think what I might do is a new product review video. You guys tell me if you would like that idea. Just some new items that I've grabbed here lately. Oh no, is it lost? Um, we're miss we're missing something. I don't know. We'll find it eventually. What are you missing? The cleaner stuff, the garbage disposal stuff? It's right there. Right where? Underneath that. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Then we're not missing a bag. My bad. My bad. Don't yell at me now. I'm not. Okay. So anyway, and well, since I'm talking about this. I would do this in the video as well. And I don't know if I would do it like one per video or if I would do all three items in one big video. Um, but it's, I found the Arm & Hammer Frozen Garbage Disposal Cleaner. And I've seen this on several channels. And I know it's like a, you're supposed to use a certain amount of it. I think it says like a quarter of the bag. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Start with sink empty and disposing. Anyway. So... That's what it looks like. And it says it's citrus scent, which is like one of my favorite scents for kitchen cleaning especially. I love the, the lemon scent or the orange scent. As long as it's a nice crisp citrus and not a perfumey citrus. Does that make sense? God, I feel like I'm rambling. Anyway, <clears throat> going to try that. We do have a garbage disposal. We don't have a dishwasher. Well, we have two dishwashers. We live here. But <laughs> anyway, and then I also grabbed because... I like to have a little trash can beside me, and I'm going to go um, with, 
I finally decided. I know we've been here almost two years, and I'm just now deciding what uh, what like major accent color I wanted because right now it's very beige and gold, and I knew that I wanted a deep heavy accent color and I'm going with navy blue this isn't quite as blue as I want to use as a matter of fact I'll show you some paint in a little bit that is more the color that I want but uh, this will you know kind of go better I've been using the great big red solo cup thing that I bought at Dollar Tree years and years ago uh, but I kind of want to just leave that in the craft area and this will be over here by me not that I have a ton of trash but it, you know like if I'm I don't know like when I do my nails, I'll have little pieces of stuff that I want to just throw in the trash. So there's that. Hubby and I also grabbed two of the peace trees. He grabbed the tea and lemonade. I grabbed the razzleberry, raspberry flavor. I have never tried. I've tried a peace tree and it was the peach. I didn't like it. I think I've tried the lemon one, but I don't remember if I liked it. And I've never tried this one. But I generally like raspberries. As a matter of fact, my loves. Will you please go dump this nasty stuff out because it tastes weird. We went to McAllister's today and the tea is not tasting good. And then tea here, makes much here, darker. baby, can you put this in it, please? Thank you. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to taste it. I'll do that here in a minute when he gets that poured for me. And then... Add one of your... Um, no, just, that's cold enough as it is, I think. And then I also found this LA Colors Silver Nail Polish. And it has a little heart-shaped emery board with it, which is too cute. But um, when I do my nails, you'll see why I bought this. It'll be fun. That tastes so, really good. Does it? Mm -hmm. So I grabbed that. I also grabbed, uh, because we do have Becca over here, and we don't have baby gates. And honestly, I don't know that I'm going to buy a baby gate. Just because... Oh, excuse me. Thank you, my love. Did you do this uh -huh. stuff? Uh-uh. No, did this? Okay. Whew, I got thirsty. Um, oh, that is good. Okay. That's really good, you guys. Um, but if I gated off any area, it would be the kitchen. Well, I found these safety multi-purpose latches that we can put on the cupboards that are below the sink where all of my chemicals and stuff are. Now, back in our day, when our boys were little, I just put them in an upper cabinet. But I can't reach any of these upper cabinets, so that's not the option that I want. So we'll try these and see how they do. That's when we need to get a gate. Eventually we will. But for right now, I'm happy with this. And then we just shut the doors to the bathroom and the two other rooms. And then he can run up and down that hallway all he wants. We don't care. But, so I found those and I thought, well, we'll give those a try and hopefully they'll work. Hubby also grabbed three of these pirate ships. Are they all the pirates? Okay. Yeah. 3D art pirate ships. And I'm guessing what they are. Here's, I guess I should show you the front. Is you, they're like foam. I have a feeling they're foam. Um, open one up and find out. Oh, okay. He said open one up and find out. So I will. I've been ordered by the great commander. So who am I to argue? Yep, they're foam. <clears throat> oh, wow. Cool. Okay. Well, those are going to be a good size, too. They're not going to be too big. Cool. That's that's going to be a nice little size. So, those will be fun. But, again, for him and his uh, new D&D &D venture that he's going on, on with our Jada Boo. So, there's that. He also grabbed a hook. One of the garden hooks. I grabbed two. I'm going to work on a little project shelf project which just probably gave away to you guys what i'm doing because i know everybody's shelf project. everybody's been doing them on the ootubes but grabs two of those they used to sell these in a two-pack i know they did um kind of mad that they don't still but it is what it is we also found and we were on our way out on the way to the checkout and i just happened to see this on an end cap oh my gosh is he not the cutest thing now he's kind of warped so I'm going to have to sit him down and lay some heavy books on him for a while to flatten him back out. But it says, Happy Easter, Cottontails Farms, Fresh Eggs, Cottontails Farm, Fresh Eggs. And I like it because it has that barn. I love the barn image. I love the black and white. I love the wood look. It's kind of aged. I'm debating on, because see it has lines where it would be like a slat. 
I'm debating on etching those lines so they're actually deep into the surface and you can feel them. But I really just, I really liked it. There was a couple others that I liked, but it wasn't like this. Like this one really just spoke to me. Like we were, sorry, I'm trying to shift stuff around here because Hubby's going to have to put more stuff up here in a minute. Shift it. Shift it. Um, but anyway, <coughs> we were walking past this end cap and I went, oh, you know oh look, time? there's more stuff. Uh -uh. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Huh? It is? Magenta says it. When? He says us from Rocky Horror Picture Show, but I don't remember that part. I also found, you guys saw me haul these in blue yesterday. Today I found the purple. I was super excited. The little um, buffalo check. I don't think that's buffalo. Gingham check bunnies. There are six per pack. Six per pack. The back is solid color. I'm going to take these out of the plastic. And then you guys can see them a little bit better. They're nice sized too. They're not too small. And this will be part of the garland that I'm going to do. I just think they're so cute. They are super duper adorable. I was happy to find those. This was a different Dollar Tree yesterday than yesterday, by the way. Um, this one had much better Easter stuff out and other stuff. I got this guy. And then the Dollar Tree we were at today doesn't have the wall stick panel thingies you guys know what I'm talking about I don't even know if I know what I'm talking about that I want that I'm going to put on this um so tomorrow I want to run into our Dollar Tree down here on this end so I can get what I need to do this with and this da -da -da! and I think these are going to be super cute together once I get them done but I also found this packet of felt sheets I want to open this because again I haven't seen anybody haul these I got them for the colors. I like the green, and one of them has polka dots. So let's just pull one out here and see what we're dealing with. It says on the packaging it's 5 by 8 So. Is that inches? Yeah. So they're not big. It's not huge. But I think you guys see where I'm going to go with this, right? Hopefully. Hold on. Hold on, getting frustrated here. Strings bug me. Out, darn string, out. Okay. So hopefully I can pop this piece off without breaking it. Sometimes they are so glued on there that that's a bad idea. I don't know. We'll see. But I want to cover it with this. And I want to paint behind it a darker green. And then I want to put that wall tile thing that I was telling you about on here. And, and then I'll also, it won't stay this green. This is going to get tinted a little bit, like shaded. And sh anyway, hopefully I can make it look good. I don't know. Sometimes I get these great ideas, and then when I go to do them, I'm like, wow, that looks like crap. Or I might not use this for that at all. I might use it for something else and just paint that and stain it to go better with the that tile piece I want to use. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Those, wall, those sticky wall tiles they've got that have like the patterns on them. Everybody's been buying them and they paint over them and age them and stuff. So so you guys tell me, would you put the felt on it or would you just stain it and do the wall tile and then stain the wall tile? If you guys can picture that, tell me what you would do. And then I just showed you this, but I also got the bunny. I have a chick. I bought it last year. Um... And it's in my box of Easter stuff back there that I'm going to deal with. When I get some crafting done here in the next couple of weeks for Easter. But that is it for this haul. I am positive that is going to be a mega long video. I know that will make some of you happy and maybe not others. And I'm sorry. The next one, the Walmart haul is going to be pretty long as well. because. Lots of... <laughs> because... Uh, it's our monthly shop. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, <clears throat> excuse me, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.